Hey guys, I'm going to show you a little trick here. We're going to be using the uh, brand new Tracker 2.11 with a step sequencer and we're using the F1 controller as the step sequencer controller. Something just on a side note, if you think you can run two F1s in step sequencer mode, you are wrong. It doesn't work. Me and my buddy Andrew, we tried. For whatever reason, it just doesn't work. One wants to take over the other. It's just a pain in the ass. So really and truly you only need one step sequencer anyways it's a 16 step step sequencer which in fact is better than the s8 because the s8 only gives you eight step sequences to work with very quickly 16 this is better so what we're going to do we got our beatbox and drums loaded up here i'm just going to hit play here i've got a pattern in here so i just got two things going right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to record that using the loop recorder up here, but I want to put some effects on it. See what I'm doing there? So we're going to just hit the record. We're going to delete what was in there because we already had something. There we go. So now let's try that again. We're going to overdub it. So I can stop all that noise. And then all I'm going to do is take that loop recorder, click it, and drag it right into an empty slot and it puts it right in there. So now, there we have it. change the quantization and I've got it going in punch mode because I don't want to start every single time like that it just is easy to go to punch That's it. So I'm just going to stop this here, and that was um, everything. Um, if you want to know more about the step sequencer, just shoot me a message or check out some of the other videos where I go a little bit more in depth about how they work and how you set it up. That's it. Talk to you guys soon, and thanks for stopping by the man cave.